Hola everyone, this is Miguel from Espera Home Madrid and today guys I'm at a very nice four chair bedroom apartment located in Calle de Nainburg which is in Prosperidad or the neighborhood of Ciudad Madrid um, Jardín, I'm sorry the closest metro is going to be uh, either Al Alfonso 13 or Prosperidad which both of them are line 4 and that means that you'll be in Arguelles in about 20 minutes from here and so that makes it a perfect place for students that um, actually um, are going to either Ciudad Universitaria or to any other institutions around the area. All right, so this perfect, like I said, is for it's a four chair bedroom apartment, but it doesn't have a living room. So the only common area is the kitchen and of course the bathrooms. All right, so there are two bathrooms. That means that there are one bathroom per per two rooms. So that's not too bad. And actually, it's really nice because each room has its own AC um, unit and also uh, for heating as well. All right, so. Let's get started. Basically, I'm um, just gonna first come to the uh, main door, all right, which is gonna be this one. I'm gonna turn around and give you a quick overview, right? So, uh, right now to the right hand side, we go to bedroom number four, bathroom two, and the kitchen, all right? And to the left, we go through this hole to the rest of the bedrooms and the bathroom, and the other bathroom, all right? So, let's see, let's start by the bathroom all right so this is bathroom number one all right so as you can see um, it has of course a toilet the sink it has a nice furniture here with a lot of space for storage and a nice mirror and those nice lights for makeup or whatever all right and there's a space in here and this is a nice uh, sink furniture here for storage or that's even for towels all right and like I said of course the toilet the vidad and a hydro massage shower isn't that nice you can just sit there i'm not going to turn it on of course but <laughs> a lot of um, wa water will come out of each hole and that's going to be nice get a massage every day every morning before you go to school that's cool all right so this is bathroom number one all right so now we're going to go to the very end of the hole and we're going to find bathroom i'm sorry bedroom number one all right, so it, it has number five because actually the owner has three different apartments in this building. So that's why he's naming each bedroom um, in order from the first apartment. So just don't look at this. This is bedroom number one. All right. So as you can see, it has a nice big desk in a chair and a nice single bed there and a mirror. I'm sorry, a window that goes to the street. All right. To the street view. So that's cool. And it has this nice built-in closet unit with this huge mirror and it has of course a space there for hangers and some drawers there very useful it should be the same here oh cool it's even got this um kind of what is this like yeah like shelves or it's really useful and some more in there all right and i'm going to show you the street in a minute all right, so this is bedroom number one with a single bed, a desk, and then this kind of hall that actually gets you to the main hall. All right, so we're going to go to bedroom number two right now, which is this one. All right, so let me turn the lights on for better lighting. But, uh, well, this one has even a bigger desk, which is nice, very useful, a nice chair there. It has a single bed as well, a nightstand, and it has a funny wardrobe unit here which is like kind of compressed I mean in but you have a space there so it's not it's not that bad it just looks funny from from here but it, it, it have it has a uh, enough space all right it also has those drawers there and more space in there and up there but look at it there's a space in there for clothes all right let's close it another view of bedroom number two from here again single bed and a window that goes to an interior i mean to the street all right now we're going to check and like i said each room has an ac unit so forgot sorry i forgot to show you the other one but they're exactly the, like this one all right bedroom number three which is this one right here similar structure uh so a little smaller desk a chair a window goes to the uh, street uh, wardrobe, build a uh, standalone closet unit, single bed, and a nightstand. All right, and same here. 
it's just a little bit smaller but still it's got some space there in here and of course up there all right it also has a mirror there and the street that i'm going to show you in a minute because i haven't told you but bedroom number three i'm sorry bedroom number four actually comes with a surprise with a terrace all right which is nice we're going to go outside in a minute but as you can see of course this is the biggest bedroom of all it has a very long desk extremely useful a nice double bed it has the furniture there for storage or um, shelving and those um, drawers in there of course a nice mirror and aside from that it also has this big um, standalone closet unit now let's open it up so you can see there you go yeah it has enough space in there and there and of course all the drawers in here all right and yeah let's check the uh, the, the, the balcony the terrace all right so it's only accessible through this room so if you really want to be the coolest guy on the flat just make sure you get this one so you have your own terrace all right <laughs> it was going to be up to you if you want to share it or not but this is the only way to access the terrace all right and this is the street which is nice look at those trees they're nice all right uh, there's a lot of traffic around here but uh i mean a lot of cars of course but actually this window uh, makes it a you know makes a great job when it turns to um turn it up you know the sound all right so i'm just gonna come to this end of the terrace so you can see how big it is this is bedroom number one i mean bedroom two because the other bedroom number one goes to the other street but bedroom two bedroom three and of course bedroom four all right so let's go to the main to the uh main hall which is this one again that's the entrance all right and then we find kind of this this little hole here this little area so if you run out of space in your room you can always use this one all right and you have more space in there which is good all right here's the rack for uh, of course hanging the clothes this is for ironing all right and this is bathroom bathroom number two all right so it's a little bit smaller but of course it has the toilet the sink a mirror and a nice shower not as big as the other one but still it's, it's good all right and actually one of these like i said one bed one bathroom is going to be used by two bathrooms so that's why you have these two little boxes one for each tenant of the room all right and of course like i said that mirror and then this window that goes to the street where it just was all right last but not least let's check the kitchen all right so like i said it's kind of like the only main area or common area all right as you can see it's really luminous it has two windows which is really nice but of course it has a dining table here a fridge a microwave oven it also has the uh, washing machine an oven an electric stove and of course the extractor and it's fully equipped here are the glasses the cups the knives there with a the magnet all the spoons and forks and everything and we find more here and in there for storage scissors yeah you name it even uh, uh, aluminium paper which is nice <laughs> all right so check it out guys it's a nice kitchen mm -hmm. and just another view from here all right so guys that will be it again this flat is located in calle de Nienberg, which is in prosperidad or ciudad jardin perfect for students you just uh, saw it and i hope you liked it all right so thanks for watching and see you next time bye